Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt King with Funnel.Works and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a live webinar funnel. There's two different types of webinar funnels that you can build. One is a live funnel, one is an automated funnel and each of them work fairly different uh, within themselves. They have different types of functionality which I'm going to try and show you guys the live version here and if I have time I'm going to make you guys a video on how to do the automated version and if you're really lucky I'll link to that one from this one and then I'll link back to that one from that one right so here's what I'm going to show you so if you guys are going to build a live webinar my recommendation is not to get too horribly fancy with it it's really not that really not that big of a deal so what you're going to do go to uh, click funnels up here go to browse funnels if you're not already there and we're going to go to build funnel all right we're in an MD account here you may see some uh, differences between this account and maybe your own um, I like to use the classic funnel builder it works a little bit better but you could probably use the cookbook builder process but I've noticed some of the live funnels that come out of the cookbook builder process give you the wrong pages so I'm gonna go use the classic funnel builder all right um, so uh, what are we gonna do sell your product host a webinar and then it gives you the option of a live or a webinar replay, which is basically an automated webinar. So we're going to do a live and we're going to choose that. And it's going to give us three pages. We got the webinar sign up page. We have a confirmation page and it's going to give us a live page. So let's call this live webinar uh, test funnel, right? So you th basically think that you're going to have a webinar and you're going to, it takes place on one date and one time. This is not for multiple dates and times. You're going to have one webinar next week on Thursday night at 7 o'clock p.m. That's when it is. So you're going to use that, okay? Um, let me put test testing in here, and then we're going to build the funnel, all right? So what it's going to do is it's going to build those three pages out, and then you're going to have those. Actually, it only gave us two pages. All right, so maybe they changed that. <laughs> All right, so you've got a registration page and a confirmation page, which is more like it. Um, the replay is probably, you can add a replay page if you want, but the replay page um, should run through whatever your third-party webinar system is. All right, this assumes this video is assuming that you are not using ClickFunnels to run your webinar remember ClickFunnels is not a webinar platform inherently okay you need something like stealth uh, actually I take it back you need something like zoom or you need something like go to webinar okay um, or you could do webinar jam those those are different options that you guys have so uh, let's look real quick at some of our integration options here I'm gonna come back to this don't forget that um, up here so Add new integration. You've got, uh, let's see, where do we have? Ever webinar would be for Evergreen. Zoom may or may not be in here. I don't know what Market Hero is. There's always different stuff coming up, right? Zoom is down here. You can also use Zoom. Sometimes there's some issues with Zoom, all right? If you use the internal integration, my recommendation would be to use, uh, th there's a program called Zapier, which allows you to connect Zoom to ClickFunnels. Um, through Zapier and it actually works pretty good. So you can use that. You can use Webinar Jam Studio here um, or uh, let's see, Webinar Jam, Webinar Jam Studio. This is the older version. Webinar Jam Studio is the newer one. I'm looking at what else I got here. Um, 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 should have GoToWebinar. Here it is. GoToWebinar. These are basically two different form formats. You can have a direct integration using this or if you want to use their form, you can... Uh, basically some HTML code that you get from them, you can use that using this right here. All right, so those are your options. Uh, make the integration with whatever it is that you're going to use. If you're using Zoom, use Zapier to connect them. If you're using Webinar Jam, you can connect that uh, directly to this, or you can grab the embed code from Webinar Jam and actually uh, you just put it right on your registration page, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, but um, if you're doing a live webinar, you might as well just integrate it here and, and integrate it on page. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a registration page. Uh, there's webinar. If you're doing a live webinar, you'll see a new tab up here. It says live webinar. We're going to do a live webinar, and it comes with a registration page and a thank you page. Don't worry about the broadcast room for right now. Um, we're going to do the registration and the thank you page, and then you're going to use your broadcasting is going to take place through one of those third-party systems. All right. So... On your webinar, let's grab a page, just a random page. Uh, let's see. I think I did registration, right? So we'll select 
this one over here, just a ran completely random page. It needs to have, it needs to ask for name an email address or just an email address. Some of the systems out there like GoToWebinar want uh, name, first name, last name, email address. So make sure that for whatever system you're using that you're putting the information onto this page that you need, all right? I'm going to show you something real quick. I hear this a lot of times. People are like, I don't understand why my emails are going out with the wrong dates and times. I don't understand why my confirmation page is all messed up. Nothing's working. Guys, there's no connection between this registration page and the confirmation page. Your confirmation page is not going to count down um, to the date that your webinar is and then automatically redirect. Um, you can put a link on there. You can put a countdown timer on there if you want. Um, but it is not going to be automated. There is nothing automated about this system. Now, what I'm going to show you is this page, uh, this little uh, gear icon. If you click on that, um, you can change the path if you want. Um, but what I want to show you is this, the date that you're doing your webinar. If you're doing your webinar on Thursday night at 7 o'clock, you need to come over here and select the proper date and time. It's in 24-hour time increments. 7 o'clock is 1900, all right? So make sure that you choose that. Select your your uh, your time zone settings in your personal settings so that it reads the proper time, okay? The only place that this really makes any difference in anything is using the automated email systems that are built here. So if you put that in there, that, that date and time will be used uh, for the automated emails that go out, all right? So we're going to do that. We're going to click Update Page, um, and then I'm going to come in. You don't have to make any almost no edits to this page by the way so what you're going to do is you're going to go into this page you're going to make sure that the copy reads like you wanted to put your name put your headline put a picture of you in there not in here not jim johnson not rob robertson whoever these guys are right so make sure that you change the date and anything else that you guys want now the pop-up is where this information is going to pop up i'm not teaching you how to use each one of these templates some of these are asking for name and email in the pop-up some of them are not but if they are uh you got to bring it up here. Show the pop-up. It's asking for name, email, submit the page. Make sure your button. I see this a lot of times. People make this button so that for some reason it just goes to the next page in the funnel. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work. You have to. This has to submit the order form here or the form. All right. That's the only way for this to work. All right. So make sure that that looks like that. Name, email, submits the page. Uh, once you have that, we're gonna go to your settings. We're gonna go to your integrations. We're going to come over here to integration. Let's say you have Webinar Jam Studio set up. Um, the way that this works is that it is going to add you to a one of the webinars that you have set up in Webinar Jam. You can set your schedules. You can set other things. Um, like I said, don't worry about if you're using Zoom, you're not going to use this. In fact, if you're using Zoom, um, it's a perfect opportunity to use this to put people on a specific email list, in fact. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to put people here, Webinar Jam, select an action. You want to register them to a webinar session. All right. What's going to come up here on the list to add is going to be the next uh, the next webinar schedule. Okay. So whatever schedules you have built out in Webinar Jam are what's going to come up on here inside of your account. So this is getting ready for your laser grade written knowledge test. If that's one of the one of the upcoming webinars that you have in Webinar Jam, you click that, bam, it's connected, okay? Now this will connect people to your webinar and then they will start getting emails from Webinar Jam. So you'll they'll get um as, uh, I'm sorry, confirmation emails, reminder emails, follow-up sequence, all that jazz, it'll come from Webinar Jam. It'll come from your third-party system, okay? And they'll show up on, basically on what I would call um, the, the roster um, for people to watch it, okay? And you can look those stats up in Webinar Jam. So that's good to go there. Now, uh, one other thing you might want to do, let's say you have a list in like Aweber or something and you want to put those people on a list. Um, basically, this is good to go. Just make sure all the copy looks good here. Don't forget to hit save, all right? Um, and title it my landing page test whatever all right hit save again back up come to exit remember it takes about a minute or so for some sometimes for uh, changes to to actually appear so um, we're going to go to the webinar confirmation page i'm going to show you guys uh, a couple different things that you can do so first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to select a template i'm going to choose this one because it's got a countdown timer on it all right 
um, webinar and thank you. This is remember this is live webinar. This is not automated. There's nothing automated about this. Um, first thing I'm going to have you guys do is go in and edit this. Remember, there's nothing extra here. There's not going to be any extra stuff. Um, but we're going to go and edit the page. And I'm choosing this one because there is a countdown timer on here. Again, change out all this information, the date, who's running it, um, the headlines, all that good stuff. This is basically a confirmation saying, yes, I am I, I am confirmed for this thing, okay? Now, this information here um, does not... It's not automated. It doesn't. It's not linked to the other page. It's not linked to when you selected that date and time. All right. So you have to update this manually. I said it's, it looks like it. It defaults to 2025. So um, I got to back up a lot here. Anyway, select the date and time that your webinar is going to be. Let's say that's a Thursday at 7 p.m. because that's when I said it was going to be in Eastern Standard Time. Um, and what happens after they uh, after they uh, after the the countdown actually expires. Um, you could actually set this to like a redirection URL. Maybe you send them straight to webinar jam link, whatever it is. So that way, even if people come late, um, they still get in. Okay. Um, just a, a little tidbit of information there. So that's how the webinar countdown works. Um, what I wanted to show you was on the first page, you integrated this with webinar jam. So that they got on the webinar jam page, assuming you're using webinar jam, if you're using GoToWebinar. Use GoToWebinar. It works the same way. So uh, here, uh, you let's say you have another list that you want to put these guys on, and it's called like registrants, you know, all registrants ever. You're going to come here, and you're going to go to tracking, uh, I'm sorry, integrations. Again, just like you did the last time, but instead of picking that one, you're going to pick uh, Aweber, and you're going to add them to a list and integrate an existing form, uh, and then which is what they call it on Aweber. I don't know why they don't just call it add to a list um, but you have to have a list or a form in a Weber and then you come over here and go okay great this is the list that I want to put them on so I'm gonna put them on ABC and then that's it now they're connected so um, they don't have to put their name in a second time for this as soon as they hit this page as long as they put their information in on the other page they hit this page bam they'll also be added to that a Weber list so guys that's it all right make sure that your uh, reminder email sequence is set up to give them a link to the webinar. If it's a generic link, you can add it here to the confirmation page. Um, all your reminders are going to go out through the third-party system. If you don't want to use that, you've always got... Um, here, let me uh, cancel that. I'm going to save this. I'll show you one other place that you can go uh, to add some reminder emails, and that would be the registration page here. You can always go to your automation tab here and add emails for people who... Um, are going to see the e are going to see this webinar. So just say it basically when they when they register, they're going to get an email, and then they're going to get a webinar. So you, you probably just want to get them on a list somewhere, and then send them broadcast. Okay, or you can send them a, a missed webinar because they know the time. If they make it past the time and they never saw it, then this will send them an email. How they know that, I don't know because it's in a completely third third party different system. All right. Now, if you want to run this or try to run this internally, you can always add the broadcast page. All right, let's put that in here, broadcast. Again, there's no real connection to this broadcast page. Let's go to the webinar. There's a broadcast room. This is really meant for like a replay so that you guys can get that. But if you have like a um, Google Hangout or something, that's how this used to work. So you could select a template for that and then set up a, a Google uh, broadcast internally. I don't even know if Google Broadcast still works. I know YouTube Live um, still works. So you could have that and then run it internally to this. And then this would generally, when you say missed webinar, it would know that they never landed on this broadcast page. Whether I would plan on that to work, that's not really my call to make. Um, if I were you, I would have a, some other <laughs> some kind of a third-party system in place to make this process work. What I was just talking about with all those missed webinars, registered, saw the uh, saw the particular time when the call to action was made, that kind of stuff works a lot better with the automated system that is inside of ClickFunnels, but not as much with the live because it's just the two pages that you're getting. You're getting the registration and the confirmation. So if you want to know how to set it up, that's how you do it. That's how you integrate it with a third-party system. That's how you register somebody 
through ClickFunnels for your third-party webinar system or platform, and then you can even integrate them with some kind of an email list that you have set up for them, okay? There's so much that you can do with this. It makes life a lot easier. You can customize your registration pages. Um, one thing I would recommend, um, and I'll leave a link down in the description, if you guys have not already gotten the perfect webinar, um, Russ Brunson's given this thing out for free. It's a CD. You get digital access to it, and then um, he basically lays out the entire structure of the perfect webinar so that you guys can go right into the perfect webinar and start building your webinar out because all this webinar funnel stuff this is great this is good stuff to have but at the end of the day guys what you're building here doesn't matter as much as how good your freaking webinar is all right how well it's structured how well your delivery is how many uh closes you're using in the process of your webinar and you're going to learn about how to do that here in uh, this little program seriously it, it's like a free plus shipping offer that he's given out so uh, just go get it um, I'll leave the link down below click on that link go get this and you'll be making really awesome webinars in no time I'm going to make up uh, another video for auto webinars you guys can go see that um, I'll leave a link as well for that um, if you guys are interested in setting up an auto webinar okay that's all I got. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video.